What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs, day number 1448, coming at you with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. So ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, of course, everybody, uh, you know, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And with that being said, let's uh, jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. Here we go. All right, so uh, this comes from Tony. And he says, hi, Pete, hope your weekend went well. I'm back to tell you my situation with a customer uh, where it went too far. I arrived, uh, let's see, I arrived to a restaurant where I had a pickup for two people, which were two miles away from each other. And the payout was 1268 for a total of 6.7 miles total. Very good food at this location. Uh, the pickups went well, despite me having to ask the customers if they wanted to sub in a different type of meat for their tacos. I got it done, and on my way to the first customer, she told me her access pin to punch in to get into the apartment lobby and which floor to take the elevator to. I advised her we aren't able to access floors in apartments nor hotels slash motels, then asked her if she can meet me at the lobby. But that's not true, though. You, you can do that. I've done that a million times, so I, I'm not sure where you heard that part. Um, let's see, uh, then asked her if she can meet me at the lobby. I learned the hard way, even though couriers have given me access to the elevators. When I went up an elevator the first time, Uber Eats then sent me an inbox stating their guidelines, which included not being able to access floors. On Grubhub, I never had that problem. So I'm not, I'm not hundred percent on that. Um, let's see. Uh, in my opinion, it takes up too much time and slows me down. Yes, that I agree with. It definitely takes too much time. I then called Uber support to tell them about the ongoing delivery situation. And she's texting me, texting me, uh, acting scared in defense due to her order, not being at her door yet. I spoke to the first support tech, told her what was going on and how we're not able to access floors. If we're not able to, then why does the customer have an option to choose their delivery to be taken up by elevator to their door? Exactly. It makes no sense at all. I agree. The Uber support tech told me she was going to transfer me to her supervisor so she can try to handle my situation. Keep in mind, I have a second delivery to take. So after being transferred, waiting seven minutes on the phone, I say, okay, they're taking too long. I don't want to keep the next customer waiting. So I go ahead and take it up to the customer's door, snap a pic, tell her that her order is by the door and I leave. I get back in my car and Uber support called me back with the customer on the line. The customer told support I didn't deliver her food. I informed them about when I was waiting on hold for seven minutes being transferred to a supervisor. I went ahead and took it up to the customer's door due to me having a second delivery. I explained to her that I was just trying to follow our guidelines so I didn't get deactivated. She completely understood where I was coming from and I ended the call. I left her location and I was on my way to the second location. The first customer then calls my personal phone, not through the Uber app, and starts cursing me out about how she ordered two margaritas from the restaurant as well and they weren't in the bag. I then told her the merchant nor myself didn't see anything about having about the order having margaritas. But if they happen to not tell me or whatever the case might be, she could go in the app and get a refund back. The customer then started getting hyped and I ended the call. I dropped the second order off, which made my night better. With a generous tip I received and I ended the night. I got back home and filed a complaint on the first customer with Uber support. I made my side be heard and I gave them her side word for word, except all the profanity, which was used by bleeps. Hope all of this gets settled. Now, this is a story. That most certainly is a story, Tony. And that's news to me about not being able to go up to apartment floors. I, I do that all the time. <laughs> you know, at least on Grubhub, I've never been told I'm not supposed to do that. I've punched in pin codes, gone up, up and down elevators. I, I've done all of that. I've had to walk up six flights of stairs. I've done it all. So 
Tony, I'm sorry you had to go through that. It just sounded like that customer was having a, a rough day and really needed those margaritas that evidently you were supposed to bring, you know, but that's why I always tell people always double check all the items on the order uh, and always double check with the restaurant. Just always ask, are there any drinks with this? Are you sure everything's in the bag? Always ask those questions, but I think you handled it well. I think you did a great job and you covered yourself on, you know, in all aspects. So well done, well done, sir. So with that being said, if you guys ever have anything you wanna to send to me or share with me, a topic, a question, an article, a story, whatever, send me an email, pay to drive stories at gmail.com is the best way to reach me. And for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash pay to drive. Links in the description down below or in the pin top comment. So uh, yeah, if you guys uh, wanna reach out, that's the way to do it. Anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. Let's see, we got uh, Samantha Michaels, we got John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to every single one of you guys out there. Really appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to sign up, links in the description down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That's right, everybody. Links in the description down below. Just scroll down to where it says Get the Free Gas app. Click on that link. It'll tell you how to download it on whatever kind of device or uh, phone you have and then from there you go to your gas station pump your gas print out your receipt take a picture of your receipt with the get upside gas app and within 48 hours or so you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back which is pretty fantastic and if a friend or a family member signs up using your code you'll get paid every time they pump gas it's called get upside links in the description make sure to download it today and uh yeah so also uh, if you guys want to get one of these awesome, all right, all right, all righty, all right shirts, you can get your own at paidtodrivestore.com. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies. Check out the links down below. And uh, what else do we got? That's it, right? If you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 356, E-N-D 356. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications turned on down below. Uh, and of course, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know, just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. Until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep hustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, everybody. Peace.